Long Van Nguyen was a man who his family members say never slowed down. If something needed to be done, he did it. He believed in hard work, saving money, and leading his large family by example. While doing yard work, he was hit by a truck. His family thought he'd survive. But now they're left wondering if there will ever be justice for his death. Oh my God. At 84 years old, Long Van Nguyen was the patriarch of his family. First of all, he never yelled at us, and we did a lot of mischievous things. There's seven of us, 20 grandkids. He never yelled at any one of us. Con Nguyen Dufour is the oldest daughter. She says her father's sudden death has left an emptiness in the family. He just smiled a lot, and he was very reserved, very kind, very compassionate. The man who was looked up to and admired was killed in a hit and run on August 26, 2021 in Algiers. It's a struggle every day, Mike. Windu Four says her dad was doing yard work around one of his rental properties on West Park Court that morning, something he did routinely. Then her phone rang. And I received a call that dad was on the ground at West Park Court and his head was bleeding, and that's all we knew. New Orleans police say he was hit while trimming the curb, found lying in a driveway. In the ambulance, he was still able to say, a truck hit me, and it was off-white, cream, something like that. And that was the last, those were the last words that he said. Wynn spent the next two days on a ventilator at University Medical Center. The impact was so hard, it, it just traumatized all of his organs from head to toe. He died just hours before the hospital went on lockdown ahead of Hurricane Ida. We know like God was watching and we were all able to see him take his last breath. Um, which was at 2 p.m. on August 28, 2021. More than a year later, no one has been arrested. We have done a lot of work, a lot of detective work on our end as well, just to help police officers. Windu Four says that work hasn't been well received by the NOPD. No one from the department made themselves available to talk about the case to Eyewitness News. Wynn's family hoped the days, even months, after his death would yield results. We expected something. We, we didn't receive anything. As an officer in the Army of the Republic of Vietnam, Nguyen fought against communist rule during the Vietnam War. He left his South Vietnam home with his wife and children when the war ended in 1975. With eyes set on the United States, they settled in New Orleans. Nguyen Dufour was just a year old at the time. One of the most, his proudest pieces is his ID tag from the war, and he carried that. Wynn Dufour says her father was a hardworking man. He owned the Horseshoe Grocery in Algiers for nearly three decades. He was a retired welder, a shrimper, and never stopped doing odd jobs. You would never even know that he's 84 years old because he was still doing, you know, chin-ups um, on his birthday, every single birthday. Wynn Dufour often worries her dad's case won't be solved. The person is out there. He's out there. But no, celebrating her dad's life means living hers. We do have peace only because we know that he is in a beautiful place and that he is still with us in spirit. A spirit that still guides the family and will always be part of it. They just want closure. There's still hope as long as there are people who are caring in this world. We're hopeful that something can be done. With seven kids, 20 grandkids, and his wife, Wynn's family members are mostly all local, and they lean on each other a lot. There is a $12,500 Crime Stoppers reward in this case. Anyone who gives information to Crime Stoppers will remain anonymous. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News.